So I thought that I would make a video today to kind of clear up any confusion on preset management with source audio in the Neuro desktop. Now this can apply to any of the one series pedals or the bigger pedals such as Ventress or Nemesis. It doesn't really matter. They all use the same program for management. This can apply across the entire product line. On any digital pedal, the first thing that we ever want to do is make sure that we have the up-to-date desktop editor and that we have the up-to-date firmware for the pedal that we're working with. We can verify this. First, we'll go to uh, Source Audio's website. And then we can go to the top link there. And we go under Support and Downloads. On this page, you're going to see a software tab and a firmware tab. The software is going to be the editor and the firmware is going to be the firmware for the pedal. So here we see that the latest version at the top here is Nero Desktop 0.5.3. We can go to our desktop editor and verify this. Mine is not that version. It is 0.5.1. So we want to update this. So you're going to want to go to your internet, find a download link, for the desktop editor for either Mac or Windows. You're going to want to download it, then you're going to want to extract that and install it. So now we've downloaded the editor again and installed it. We can verify this is the new version by clicking help about. And we see now we're running Neuro Desktop 0.5.3, so we are now up to date. The next thing we want to do is update the firmware. So we come up here and we can click Update Device. An update is available for your Ventress Reverb. Would you like to download it now? Yes. Your Ventress Reverb is fully updated. To complete the process, please power down your pedal, wait 10 seconds, and power it back on. So, we're going to unplug the power from the pedal. And then power it back on. And then we're going to click OK. Now we can see that the firmware version has updated to 1.18. So, we should be good now. Again, I recommend that as the very first step, no matter what you're doing with any digital pedal. Always verify that you're on the latest and greatest version of firmware and the editor. All right, so now we can start working with presets. So, if you don't know, you click this wrench so you can see what's on your pedal. And over here, you're going to have your preset slots. On the bigger pedals, I believe you can have up to 128. On the smaller pedals, I believe you have your three regular uh, selector modes, and then I believe you can have three presets. Here we see all of our presets. I've named a bunch. I've gotten a bunch and saved them off the internet. So I have a huge list here. So uh, we'll just take a listen to a couple of these. So to go through here, you can just click on any one of them. Okay. If you want to, let's say, copy any one of these to a different location, you can click on it and then click Save As. Then you can come down here in the list and you can choose what you want to save it as. And if you want a new preset name, you can name it there. And then you can click Save. And we see it's now copied into a different location. If you want to erase it, you can right click and hit Erase. Now, if you want to save a preset to a file so you can import it later, you want to select the preset and then click on Export. You then choose the location that you want to save to, and then you can put in a name. Then click Save. If you want to import, then you can select the location you want to import to, then click Import, and then you can go to the file that you saved previously. 
and the preset is now imported. Now let's say that you have a preset you want to share with the community. We'll just pick my TrimFi uh, preset here. You want to save this to the cloud, so you click Save to Cloud. You can give it a title and a description. And then you want to click Save and Publish. Now we can see at the top of My Published here in the Cloud tab, we see TBR Trim 5. Now, in the Cloud section, this is just showing the presets that I've published because I'm on the My Publish tab. We can just click on these and hear them. Okay, so all you need to do to audition any of these is just click on them. You don't have to do anything special after that. So, I don't just want to see my presets here. I'd like to see the community. So I can go over here to community. And as you can see, there's all sorts of different presets from all sorts of different pedals. Uh, so we can further the search down because I'm not working with an LA lady right now. So I'm just working with a Ventress. I'm only interested in Ventress presets. So I can click on search and then I can filter by pedal. And really, you can just click search there if you don't want to limit the scope anymore. But you can click search all, or you can do by title or description, whatever you happen to be uh, doing there. And these will list the presets by order of uh, basically how recently they were uploaded. Here we see other people's presets. <laughs> Same as before, you can just click on what you're interested in. And audition them. Now you can always get back from cloud to device by clicking these two things. I'm on my device, I'm on the cloud. It's very simple. If I want to save something to a slot, then I can come over here to cloud, I can click the preset that I want and then go to device and click save as and you can either just have the preset selected that you want or you can come in here after and select the slot that you would like to save it to so let's choose 84 and know that that's just the old cassette right there Again, if I want to erase it, I can erase it. That's really all there is to it. You just, you pick a preset, you can audition. And then if you like it, you go back to device, click save as, name it, save it. The only other thing of note here is the factory. So anything that uh, source audio has come up with from the factory they will put in this tab and same thing applies here you can do the exact same searches to narrow down what you're looking for so now you're all experts on working with presets in the desktop editor so for those that haven't worked with the desktop editor before, just a little more detail on the left here, we have three different main options. First is to update the firmware. The second is to change global settings, so your kill dry, your preset extension modes, things of that nature. And then you have basically working with your presets uh, there. So if you need to do a factory reset, you can come up to device and factory reset. You can create a device backup, you can load a backup change your mini mappings. If you guys have any questions that weren't answered in this video about working with presets in the desktop editor, go ahead and drop those questions in the comment section 
and I will either try and answer them or I'll do a separate video going over those things. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.